guys welcome back to another Huevember video I believe this is days five and six and I have to say that when we're doing this voiceover and it's the ninth day and I think day six is where I finally yeah day six is where I finally kind of have the style that I want that I've been going for and if you saw the first and second video, then you know uh, I started doing mainly line art and I started liking the way some parts of the face being shaded looked because I've never been able to cross hatch correctly. But at this point, I really like the whole like shaded uh, only graphite on the face. And then using the color for Huevember uh, as the hair without using any type of um, like line uh, outline to use it. And you'll see that for my day 7, 8, and 9, once those videos come up, uh, those three are probably like my top favorites. Because I really am getting the hang of doing really good shading and then not having to use an outline or some kind of like pencil sketch for the hair and just go for it with a marker and for me being able to commit to marker knowing that I can't erase it is one of the hardest things that's one of the main reasons why I tried inktober because I wanted to be able to draw in ink and not have to be afraid of making mistakes and if I do how to fix them so I feel like using hair with Copic markers is a good way because even if you mess up you can always fix it somehow but I really like the way these are starting to come out I feel like the style that I kind of envisioned is really starting to like show through so the materials that I use are the same ones um I think the only difference is that I start to use uh, Faber-Castell pencil in 4B and a Prismacolor colored pencil in black and those are the only two things I believe I've added on um, but for the most part everything else that I use in the video is the same. For the first drawing I did kind of this I don't know I feel like once I was done and I looked at it it looked just like the actor that plays uh, it in the newest movies and I think that's my fault I think it's the way I drew the eyes and yeah but other than that I really liked day five day six I tried to use a Prismacolor cold erase pencil and like I think it was rose I didn't really like the way it came out um, I feel like it kind of stood out and here I started really going in with the shading if you can tell by the other drawing on day five I shaded but really minimal just the nose and the eyes but with this one I went full-blown like everything and I kind of liked it but I felt like there was something missing. I don't know what it is. And I feel like the lines are really harsh, but you'll see on, I believe by the time this is uploaded, the next upload date will be Monday. Yeah, I think it's Monday. Uh, days seven and eight. And those ones are probably my favorite too, um, along with day nine. But I really hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. You know, if you're doing this challenge, I would love to see them. Um, you guys can follow me on my Instagram, artsykari. Uh, I'll have it all in the description. So you guys can see what other projects I'm working out outside of Huevember. But I really hope you guys are liking these videos because I'm putting in super hard work to keep on track and to edit almost every day to make sure I can put out these videos uh, every other day and so right now I'm super proud that I've been able to do this and I hope to continue this but um, 
yeah i hope you guys like these videos don't forget to check out the other ones i'll put them all on the playlist for you guys so you can see all of them uh, if this is the first one you're watching all right love you guys bye